Alpt, when ordering ice cream, always ask for a single scoop however, when the server is finished, say, actually I'd like a second scoop this forces them into matching the size of the first scoop, which tends to be bigger, since it was for a single cone. I did this, and the second scoop fell on my hand as I was eating it. See, this was my wonder here, don't they stagger the scoop sizes to ensure balance, or, am I way out over my skis here? Not really, I used to work in an ice cream shop, and we just put three massive scoops on top of each other, didn't really care if the kids spilled it backslash backslash outside the shop. You monster, ice cream maker here, he's totally right though. You have no clue how little fucks we give after dealing with little fucks all day. This is what I'm here for. I scream for ice cream. I cuss for asparagus. I mumble for apple crumble. I get high for pumpkin pie. My wife and I get single scoops most of the time. And no joke every time she'll get a heaping scoop. It almost looks like two. It'll get a basic one scoop that looks so tiny next to her cup. It happens no matter who is working, man or woman. It's a running joke now between us. That's so unfair. It's probably because he has a pretty wife and he's less attractive. I know the guys at my ice cream stand literally did this on purpose with couples. Edit, wife not wide haha. Don't call my guy wide. At least has a pretty wide. Genius and not wholly unethical. What is unethical is when the ice cream shop gives you the double scoop and each is smaller than what a single scoop would have been. You're not wrong. I'm a man that needs equal cream scoops. I see you are a man of cultures as well. He would have gotten froggart if he was cultured. Get it? Cultured. Froggart. I'm sorry, but you have to leave the premise, sir. I used to work at an ice cream shop. Whenever my boss saw someone doing this, or was helping them, he'd still make the top scoop small enough to still be at our target weight. He was in a swipe. He was a capitalist playing to win. Taps head don't need to measure ice cream scoops if there's no ice cream shops. I mean real a half gallon of blue bell is $6 or you can go to Andes and easily spend $30 on 4 people Braum's fucking rules though it's like $2 for a huge waffle cone just fucking packed with ice cream and that's a single scoop. I wanted to get a concrete with Oreo and caramel and they said we can't make it like that so we'll make it as a large shake but charge you the cheaper concrete price and I said god damn you people rule. Yeah. Try telling my children that going to the grocery store for blue bellies, just as fun as going to the ice cream store. On second though, don't do that. I don't want you talking to my children. You can do the same thing for places like Chipotle and Kdoba if you want to order double meat. Don't they just charge for double meat then? Oh wait you're saying that if you want to single meat portions instead of the two small double meat potions. But you still pay for the double meat price. I think the point is they charge you for double meat anyways, but scoop less. Depends on who you get on the line, but on average, they're really stingy for what they charge, and that's after all their PR nightmare BS. You'd think they'd be more generous. How much echoey do you need? I used to work at an ice cream shop and another good way to get more ice cream is to ask for a single scoop, but in a waffle cone or a large cup. It makes the normal scoop size seem smaller than normal for the person scooping it so they'll usually add a bit more. Most of the places I've been to the waffle cone costs a lot more, so it's kinda like you're already paying for more ice cream. Waffle cones are so worth it though. This is the fat guy strategy. It was originally made public by slash you slash not a now give era fucks back in 2014 in this link. Reddit com slash r slash animals slash comments slash to a 7 sdc slash as underscore or underscore former underscore fat underscore man underscore who underscore still underscore exhibits underscore fatman slash now famous post edit english good looking out it's not unethical tbh unethical is that scoop means half a scoop otherwise but great tip trying it today one scoop is already too much at most ice cream shops I go to. I live in Utah though. Maybe that's a thing here. You're just not enough of a fattus. 
truth. Minor Fatus has never seen a single scoop that's large enough. Occasionally I'll see doubles that are but that's more likely as a soft serve plus usually I'll just get a quart and a cone on the side to eat though. Alpt asked to taste multiple flavors first before buying a single scoop. Every ice cream place I've been to offers tasters though. That's just standard. Not every place. One time I asked for sample cups at a Froyo place and they said they didn't offer samples but instead could describe the flavors to me. Better get why don't they eat it. And breath in my face. This is not unethical. Unethical is serving smaller scoops just because you're asking for two. R slash ethical tips in an unethical world. Someone start that sub please. Lol. This is literally the life hack for a little calendar thing we have on our table. For August 1st. Word for word. Your little calendar thing has a life hack for August 1st apostrophe, a day to day life hack, sounds cool. Word cloud out of all the comments. Link. Imga. Com slash 6j oofs. PNG. Fun bot to visualize how conversations go on reddit. Enjoy. If ice cream is at optimal temp and industry standards are used for scooping technique. Your precious scoop of ice cream will be hollow. Source, used to work at ice cream shop and this is what the company reps taught. What? You skim the surface with the scoop and the ice cream rolls around on itself. Oh hell no. Look at it from this perspective. If it's not done like this the ice cream melts and then refreezes which makes it taste like shit. Feels bad if you're buying it from a shop, but if you're doing it at home then it makes a massive difference. The thing with shops is they will go through an entire tub of ice cream with only having a small amount of refrozen ice cream. If you did this at home with the same 3 gallon containers you'd probably have a lot more refrozen ice cream. Personally I prefer frozen custard. But that's probably blasphemy. Why would they be forced to match the scoop size? If they don't you can call them out for only giving you like one. Five scoops. Scoose me. That's only one. Five scoops. Lol yeah, I'm gonna leave it though cause it's funny. Don't try this in scene jokey. Finland or you'll get more ice cream than you can eat. I've never gotten bigger single scoops anywhere else in Finland than I have in scene jokey. I've been to a couple of different ice cream kiosks there. And they always put so much ice cream on the cone that it looks like a triple scoop. I too read my life hack calendar page today. Is this seriously in some calendar? That'd be hilarious if a meme I made back in 2014 is printed on something. Or in some app. Yeah I was thinking the same thing. It is on a calendar and that was today's entry. I can send a picture if you want. That'd be awesome if you could. I'd really like to see it. I've been waiting for years to hear this kind of tip. Honestly. I just say hey, can I get some fat scoops in there? And it works for me. Confirmed. If you're pleasant to serve I don't get paid enough to give a shit and will go for it. It is always fun seeing people's day made over an extra 2 ounces of ice cream. EHH. As long as it's practical. It's probably less of a row they're getting 2 scoops, smaller scoops BC money, and more of a row they're getting 1 scoop, I'll give them a bit extra, because it will fit easily. Though smaller scoops they out on Forza scoops are likely the recommended size. And they should be putting that sized scoop on a single scoop also. If your second scoop falls off, because of poor balancing due to oversized scoops, that's on you my dude. It's the same with Subway. If you sell salads, they only give you the recommended portion they are supposed to only want 3 salads. They are more likely to load that bitch up. If they put heaps of all the salads, you can't even eat the damn thing. Same with the ice cream. Local place near me has drive through doors they take your order in before going back to the freezers to scoop it and put toppings on. Well and work there. Lol. I'm laughing my ass off at the idea of a bunch of redditors trying this feeling, like they are pulling some kind of James Bond Ocean's 11 heist shit. Meanwhile the minimum wage teenager scooping their ice cream certainly doesn't care enough to bother with any sort of profit maximizing half scoop bullshit and in reality, probably cares so little about their job they'd give you the ice cream for free, if you asked nicely. As a teen minimum wage ice cream slave, this is it. 
Why it's this unethical though, a double by definition, is supposed to be 200%. If a single is 100%, but a double is just say 275% scoops then it's a one and a half. Apostrophe. Someone posted this, pretty much word for word, a few months ago. I'm retarded. So can someone explain to me why it forces the worker to match the size of the first scoop? Can't they just make it smaller? As someone who serves ice cream just be pleasant and ask for a bigger scoop. I don't get paid enough to care. Only when the customer hits me with that passive aggressive BS will I actually weigh the product and they will get exactly what they paid for and nothing more. Same with toppings. Your children are polite and you were a pleasure to serve. I'm sure I could overlook a few of the dollar toppings I served you just for you keeping me sane. But if you and your family come in and your kids are being outright obnoxious and rude, dirtying up my glass with little fingerprints you will be charged for every single topping. As someone who has worked in the service industry before I hate people like you. Force them I bet that's not always true. Doesn't seem unethical. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.